As the foundation is a software for the design of footing members, it includes spread footings, strap footings, combined footings, wall footings, and pile caps. But what about if your building has a multiple number of footings, let's say 100 footings? Can you design all those footings in as the foundation? And if so, can you generate the foundation plan? Can you generate the footing schedule? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to design from scratch the foundation of a building, showing the whole process, including the import of the loads and geometry, then the design of all the footings, then the generation of the foundation plan, and then the generation of the footing schedule. Let's get started. In Asti Foundation, you can create a calculation for an individual footing, or you can import a number of footings that were already modeled in another software. Asti Foundation has a feature in the design menu, import footing from ETABS. You can import all the loads and geometry from ETABS directly, or you can import the loads and geometry directly from an Excel file a file that was previously prepared with all the required information in a specific format. In either case, at the end of the importing process, as the foundation will show the import footings as nodes in the tree in the project manager, as shown here. In this case, we have 16 footings for this building. These footings were imported from ETABS, but can also be imported directly from Excel. To open any calculation, just double click on any node. For example, I want to open the, the footing 11. And this is the calculation for that footing. Of course, this footing hasn't been designed yet in the Foundation. So we can see here a lot of deficiencies, all the red X's. But as soon as we design this footing properly, all these deficiencies will disappear. These are the default dimensions with the default uh, reinforcement. But all this will change when we complete the design of this footing. The most important from this stage is that we imported all the loads. For example, we go to the Loads tab. All the loads are here, including wind with all the steps, seismic as well. All these loads are coming from either ETABS or from Excel. So you don't need to type all these loads manually. They are already there. Let's go back to the project manager. So at this point, we have imported 16 footings from ETABS that includes all the loads and all the geometry information, such as the coordinates to create the foundation plan. To see the foundation plan, go to design, click foundation plan. Of course, all the footings look identical now because we haven't decided them yet. Let's close this foundation plan. So the next step is to design the footings. How can we design? We can either go one by one and design manually footing by footing, or we can use this feature that is called the Batch Design Manager in Asic Foundation. In this feature, you enter your preferred bar sizes and then the allowable soil bearing pressure. With only this information, we can proceed to create a preliminary design of all 16 footings just with a click of a button. Let's design these 16 footings now. Let's click on design. The program shows at the bottom a progress bar. And after a few seconds, the program finishes the design of all 16 footings just with a click of a button. For example, if we open again the same footing, C11, so most of the deficiencies are gone and we can continue with the design. For example, there's a deficiency here that we can uh, solve it manually. Let's go back to the project manager. Now, at this point, we have imported the loads and geometry from either ETABS or an Excel file. We have designed all these 16 footings just with a click of a button. Once the design of the spread footings of a building has been completed, it's time to show all this information in the construction drawings. This normally includes a foundation plan, which identifies and shows the location of each footing in plan view, and a footing schedule, which is a table showing all the uh, information of each footing, such as the dimensions and the reinforcement. Let's generate again the foundation plan. 
Now the foundation plan shows a different sizes for the footings. Now the corner footings are smaller, the side footings a little bigger, but the interior footings are the biggest. We can print preview this foundation plan and the program generates the report showing the foundation plan for you. Close it. In addition to that, the program can generate a footing schedule. Go to footing schedule, then generate schedule here, click on that button, and then the footing schedule is generated for you. In this case, the table is showing 16 footings, but could be 100 or any number of footings in your building. The table shows the dimension in each direction, in X and Z, also the thickness and the reinforcement in each direction also, and the location of the reinforcement. Also, you can print preview, you can print out this uh, report for your records, and you can also export this uh, footing schedule to Excel. This is important because once you save this file as a spreadsheet, you can uh, copy and paste that spreadsheet into your uh, AutoCAD drawings. So actually you are generating here a document that you can import directly into your construction drawings, saving you a lot of time and effort in the process. Let's close it. In summary, as the foundation is able to import loads and geometry from several sources, if you have ETAPS, which is one of the most recognized and used uh, structural software in the world, you can import the load directly from ETAPS model. If not, you can prepare an Excel spreadsheet with all the information in a specific format, and then as the foundation will be able to read that information from that file. At the end of this stage, you will have all the uh, footings uh, in your model imported into ASDIP foundation. From here, you can either open each foundation and design it by yourself, or you can use the feature called Batch Design Manager. At the end of this stage, you will have a preliminary design of all the footings in your building. Once the preliminary design is completed, the user can get access to the calculations of any specific footing in the batch, and then easily fine-tune the design with minimum effort. Once the design is completed, you can generate your foundation plan very easily in Active Foundation, and you can also generate the footing schedule which is a table showing the most important information of each footing in your building. You can finally export this footing schedule to Excel and then copy and paste this table into your construction drawings. As you can see, it's very easy to design the whole foundation system in your building using the Foundation. You don't need to enter all the information by yourself manually, footing by footing but you can import information from several sources. Then you can design all the footings just with a click of a button. And finally, you can prepare the foundation plan and the footing schedule for your construction drawings. You will find several links below with a detailed explanation of each stage in this process of the design of a footing system in your building. If you like the software, please visit the website www.azipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.